Right, this is the final video for Dover as such of my visit to Dover Castle. I'm just doing a little video. I haven't been able to video as much as I would like to. Um, there was the army quarters. I'd love to have videoed that. The thing is, there were a lot of people around. They weren't too keen on people videoing. So I thought I'd just do a last little bit of video. And that big building there is empty, by the way. It's a lovely building, isn't it? But it's, it used to be an officer's mess from the early 1800s. Um, it's probably used as bits of it for offices now. Just offices, not officers. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with things like that. I mean, obviously, if there was an emergency, they could accommodate people in that, you know. There's lots of um, accommodation around, really. They could convert that into flats, couldn't they? They could, really. I mean, it looks lovely. There's St Mary's of... What's her name up there? I'm just doing the last little video walk back. I videoed this this morning. I just thought this would be a nice little walk. Nice little reflective walk back. That's what I thought it'd be. And it is. Plenty of time to get home. Plenty of time to get home. Just doing a nice little walk. It's a Beaufort gun. They got them on Steep Home Island. They were also prepared for Napoleonic Wars. I suppose I came in there. I can't, just can't remember if I did or not. Oh yeah, steps. I think I came down them. There's a, it's in better condition than the one on Steep Home, this one. And there's lots of cannons. I mean, the time I spent in the... Um, <sighs> tower took a long time. There was loads to do in there. Loads to do. So, so this is just a last minute little video. We're walking back down to Alberta, who's waiting there very patiently. She's had a day out. I went back there for a short break earlier on to have a hot drink, a bit of cheese and some fruit and nuts. See, I can't remember doing this, but I expect I did, and it'll be on other videos, I expect. Yeah, there's a nice picture of the, the tower there. Look, I've been right up there where that flagpole is. I stood on there earlier today. I've had to snatch videos where I can. I've had to snatch them where I can. I've spent a bit of money. Yeah, I've bought a few souvenirs, cup, tea towel, a coin, a little soldier, Dunkirk soldier, um, two really good booklets. You can hear the loudspeakers down in the docks there where this containers are all unloading and loading and coming and going. It's where you get the ferry if you want to go to France. It's a hike just to get here though. Just to get here is a hike.
small video of me at the end of a very adventurous day right near these cannons that this is Sheila 19th of September 2017 I don't know what video this will be I'm going to be one of the last out of the the car park I spent Doing it in reverse. Who's up there? Oh, nearly alone in the car park, like that. I'm going to go down that slope I've decided. I'm not going to go any further. no one about, they've all gone. They've all gone. It's peaceful though, isn't it? Very peaceful. I don't know if I went in that one or not. Uh, yeah, I did. I remember going in, turning around like that, and then seeing the church. Be busy. I've got to go up that that hill. I reckon I go up there. Yeah, because so I stopped um, earlier in the day. I stopped in a little lay-by up there and took pictures over here of the castle. I think it was over there. Yeah, it's a nice position for a church. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever come back here again, so I always like to do quite a thorough... I always like to do quite a thorough video. Because you don't really know if you're going to come back. Oh, I did Hastings once, but as they were on very inferior cameras. It's a nice evening rather than sitting in the van for 12 hours. I'm going out again tomorrow. I'm going to head for Sandwich in St Margaret's Bay. I went down there earlier, that leads out to a tower. And we're back at the tower, the, the actual castle. This just shows you the scale of a castle really. You know, the massiveness of it. 
how it was all laid out. This has been well preserved, this castle. And my one of my ancestors, William Peverell, was one of the he was probably the first constable. He was probably the first constable of this castle. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I think he was. Right, over and out. <laughs>